What's going on? Welcome to the Bottom Line Podcast, your sports and entertainment destination. Jimmy Finizzi with you. I hope you're doing well. You already know what to do. Hit us up on all social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Bottom Line WMCX. Use hashtag Bottom Line. Also, if you are new to this podcast, first of all, welcome. And second of all, please do us a huge favor and subscribe on YouTube and hit that bell so you do not miss an episode and subscribe on all audio platforms and include Jimmy when searching for this podcast. All right. So, I know it's not a reaction Wednesday, but I don't care, because I've been wanting to react to this song for the past couple of weeks, but I kept forgetting about it, because to be honest with you, I kind of have fallen off with this particular band. Why? Today we are reacting to a band who's local right here from New Jersey, where I am. They are known as Palisades. Now, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, somebody in the comments, but... Are they named after the Palisades Parkway on New Jersey? Because that's the only reason I can think of that they are named Palisades. The Palisades Parkway, New Jersey. So, that's beside the point. Today, we are reacting to their brand new song called Sober. And they do have a new lead singer in the band. If I can pull up his name here really quick. Louis Lou Maselli Jr. Sorry if I'm saying his last name incorrectly. Was the original lead singer for Palisades. But now... It is Brandon Elger, who currently plays bass in the band, but has since taken over as the lead vocalist. So he plays, so he plays, so he, it, so he's the new lead singer and he plays bass in the band. So props to Brandon Elger for stepping in in a big role. But anyway, he's the new lead guy. So let's take a listen to Palisade's brand new song called Sober. Let's go. This is this is a deep song, man. Wow. I mean, I mean l- lyrically it does not disappoint. Obviously, from what I'm getting at here, he's talking about either himself or referring to somebody he knows that obviously has um, drug or alcohol issues. And he wrote that based on either his own experiences with it or somebody he knows who has experienced it. But from what I can gather, it is about himself somebody correct me if i am completely wrong on that i probably am but even still i digress but i'm loving this so far the heaviness is there and brandon is doing a hell of a job stepping in for the original lead singer but anyway let's uh keep going here shall we you turn your cheek left behind my back all your friends think that i'm insecure
hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. I feel empty. Can I go back and hear that one more time? Because that part was epic as hell. I loved that. Let me go back and hear that one more time. Wish I was so to find my way. I can't explain this constant pain. The agony is killing me. <laughs> I love that so much. That was amazing. What a song that was. What a job by this band. I'm sorry that I've fallen off these guys for a hot second. I gotta start listening to them more, especially the fact that they're from my area. That was outstanding. All right, so like I said before, from what I was getting from this song, it seems like uh, this was written about either Brandon himself or somebody that he knows or any of the other band members know that was going through either drug or alcohol abuse and basically they're saying that i wish i could feel sober to feel all the pain and look i've said this over and over again no matter what you're going through in life whether it is drug or alcohol addiction or something like that somebody you know is going through that no matter what you're going through in life no matter how many dark days that there are everything always will get better it always does in the end. That's the most important thing that you have to remember. I've always said, if I can always inspire one person with this message, then I've done my job. Everything will get better. Just give it time. I know it sucks to hear that for some people, but as the old saying goes, time heals all wounds. And I think that this is the overall message that this song is trying to convey. And I love that so so much instrumentation of course phenomenal as always brandon is doing a hell of a job filling in for lou as the new lead vocalist i can't wait to hopefully see these guys live very soon i did see these guys live once with their original lead singer and they were fantastic and very loud i must say but i will definitely have to make a trip to see these guys very very soon but overall palisades sober Gets a 10 out of 10 for me. And that's the bottom line. What do you think about this song? Let me know down below in the comments on YouTube and on all social media at Bottom Line WMCX. And don't forget to use hashtag Bottom Line. I'm Jimmy Finizzi. This is the Bottom Line Podcast. See you in the next one. Peace and take care.